For the past three weeks, I've been making art that's photography-based, but includes found materials as well, using found plastics and fishing nets that we've found on our different little trips, um, from the beach to some farmlands, and I'm playing off the different themes that come around climate change and environmental protection and how we can adapt our traditions to accommodate these new worldly changes. I have been doing a lot of uh, microfiction and prose, incorporating fable fantasy. I've been using um, more soft magic in my writing than necessarily hard magic and high fantasy um, because the landscape of Ireland is very natural and beautiful and it feels very alive and also a lot of the folk tales or I guess stories or just places that I've even been that don't necessarily have a story to them have really inspired me in terms of my writing and about the content that I want to put into it. The art that I've been creating over the past couple weeks have been largely based off of the nature of Ireland and finding symbolism within my own life um, to incorporate into my paintings. Um, I think I've learned that I really do enjoy painting all day. Um, I think this trip, while it's great that we've got, gotten to like explore new areas, it's also just a great time to like fully develop your ideas and just be able to try anything and I really appreciate that time and I wouldn't normally get this time at home or at school. I learned that, I don't know, I would say I re, I re learned um, how to be a writer. I kind of had a break where I wasn't writing much and I was like getting really down on myself, but then being here, it just kind of reawakened that part of me. And um, I realized how much I really missed that. And I'm gonna try to keep up with it more. Being class of 2022, this was one of my last Wheaton experiences and it by far has been one of the best. Being able to have this immersive experience and being surrounded by so many artists and creative writers all in their element and just creating has made me want to do more of these artist residencies in the future. I feel like I've learned so much. I feel like I've learned a lot about how I, where I need to be to create art. I feel like I've learned how much I actually build my energy off of other people and how, how grateful I am for other people um, and how much I realize that I want to have a space and work in a place where I have a lot of people and friends to, um, to like, We'll build off of and work together because I, I really appreciated the aspect of having kind of this family here um, of all these artists and creative writers to influence each other and find inspiration and build each other up. So I've learned that I appreciate that a lot. And it's cheesy, but I'll really remember the community that we've built all the artists and writers and being able to express ourselves through art and really get it and just be able to talk freely about it with one another and also the fact that I'm able to uh, make connections with people who aren't in my class year or who aren't in the same classes that I'm in. I've been able to meet a lot of artists who I just have never met before either because of that class difference or because they haven't taken writing courses and I haven't taken an art course. And I feel like with such a small community and small amount of us, it's been really possible to like connect 
and to get to know each other in a way that COVID hasn't let us do lately. Um, so I think I'm going to remember everyone here <laughs> a lot. <laughs>